What should women be allowed to do without being judged? Age in peace. Adjust bras in public. Not smiling all the time. She should absolutely be allowed to have proper sized pockets in her clothes. Being single. Especially older and single. Nearly anything, same as any other human being. Not wanting to have children. Fart, I dated a girl who farted one time in front of me and started crying because it's so gross. Wearing no bra. Decision to have kids or not. Age. Taking a poo. Getting angry because of very understandable things, without getting called bossy, bitchy, being on our periods, being called difficult or crazy, or gaslighting. Be ugly. Choosing not to have children. Not caring about looks. Not using makeup. Not wanting kids having traditionally masculine hobbies. Whatever we want to do. I've been insulted for wearing shirts, jeans, gaming, not wearing makeup, not wearing high heels, and so on. I fail to see why people think it's justified to judge let alone insult me and so many others based on absolutely normal things. Be comfortable in clothing. I'm a guy and I mostly go after comfort and keep it reasonably fashionable i.e. plain t-shirt, track or jeans and a pair of sneakers and you can basically wear that anywhere to everything and look decent but from what I have experienced through so's or family and friends is just that being comfortable and fashionable as a.s. a bit harder. Side note male formal shoes are way more comfortable than any heel or pump. This is the world we live in people. Ask for a pad or tampon. Making the decision to never get married. Have tits. I'm a 32 JJ and cannot do anything without being sexualized. I am regularly followed out of the gym by creeps or have things shouted at me walking down the street. It's a genuine concern for me that my future career will be affected by the fact that my academic achievements are often overlooked because I'm just known for having big boobs. FML. I almost feel pressured into getting a reduction that I don't want, because it would make life easier. Take rest days when having a period. Whatever the fuck they want as long as she's not hurting herself or others. Breastfeed in public. Live their lives. Being in a bad mood. Liking sex. Breastfeeding medium skin tone thumbs up sign. Not being in the mood for whatever she is not in the mood. Play video games, play D&D, lift weights, play compete do sports. Fuck, anything they want to do. Fuck, women should be able to do anything they want to do that isn't harming others or illegal, without being judged for doing so. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it though. How about making her own sexual, reproductive, and medical decisions? Not having hair. Exist. Being terrible at cooking or other chores. Not shaving body hair. Why can dudes have hairy arms and legs but women have to shave or wax to look presentable? Realistically? Whatever the fuck they want, obviously within reason and if not hurting anyone, just like anyone else. Rejecting a man's interests in you. Not wanting to be in a relationship or have children. Not be judged or ridiculed by her weight. The amount of cruel comments I see toward women who are robust is diabolical. I have a sister who is trying to lose weight, and was mocked by being called fat before. Mocking women for their weight does not make you a good human being nor better than her. Grow hair. Violate the Geneva Conventions. Eat. Being childless. Make the decision to get an abortion for whatever reason she feels necessary. Whatever their conscience allows them to do. Get an abortion. By plan B at any age at any time from any pharmacy without the pharmacist's religion stopping them. 
Abortion. Anything that doesn't harm someone else. Unless of course they deserve it, then also that. Speak about their experiences without hundreds of guys trying to correct them saying that's not true, I never seen it happen. Anything they want, none of us are righteous enough to be judging anyone for anything it's never been anyone's business. Not shave. You always get judged, just group yourself with similar-minded people and do whatever you want, whatever you do will be always go against the perspective of someone else. Not have to wear makeup all the time. Whatever the hell they want to do, it's none of our business. Gain weight. God bless you ladies. Exist? Edit ha 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 y'all are hilarious. I guess if you feel attacked go for it I'll be a hypocrite if you wish, but I'm having a grand ole time. Your comments tell a lot. I guess the saying goes if you feel attacked it was meant for you cocks if you don't then continue on. But keep mansplaining to me it gives me satisfaction. Much love. While women mostly experience this from men, obviously it happens from women too. That's society for you. But you'll keep punching down. I think someone's triggered three. Take a day off when period pain is not manageable. Being pretty but with a little bit of a belly and still being about to get a partner who won't judge. Play sports. Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. Breastfeed their infants. Anything that revolves around their own bodies. Breastfeeding. Not shave. Holy shit. I'm female and I will not shave for shit. Women want it equal, we got it, mostly anyway, so I will not shave. And now it's women judging me for my choice. I trim because I hate rashes and stubble. Just leave me and my body hair alone FFS. Get an abortion. Women who suffer from bad periods menopause having paid time off from work. Exist lol my gender rly affects my life a lot for some reason. It's sad being seen as a hysterical burden.